Hi YouTube, so now I will show you on how to make MySQL database backup using Visual Studio C Sharp. To make the MySQL backup, so we'll be needing a external application which we call MySQL Dump. It is actually by default uh, included in the MySQL ins installation, which you can locate under the ins installation pattern for MySQL. So this one, MySQL Server 5.6 bin, and then you can check uh, MySQL dump. <laughs> so this one, so we will just need it, uh, need to add it as a resources on our application. We can manually use MySQL dump by executing the program and pass several parameters like the host, which is the server IP, and then the port number, the user name of the database, and then the password, and then the database name. These routines, dash dash routines, is just only uh, inform the MySQL dump to include the stored procedures and functions on the our backup and then the greater than sign and then the file name from where it will save the backup so on our project i added another form which i called backup and then add to metro link button and the prog metro progress bar and then we need also to add another folder for the resources where we will add the mysql dump it on my focus this is my desktop okay so here we need to make it copy it newer so that we automatically when we compile our project it will be added on our bin okay so beforehand I already created the function for the do backup from where it we can pass a parameter of file name so I'll just explain this line by line okay so file name so we just need to make sure that it will make the SQL file okay and then we will add we will create a file under our is our execution path uh, maker directory and also the SQL file so that will be our temporary file okay so we need to make sure that the maker directory exists on our uh, startup path of our application so this is what piece of code do and then we need to make a file name which is a bat make from where we will put this code inside that batch file but we will do it programmatically okay so we just need to make sure to delete the SQL file just to make sure that it doesn't exist on the maker okay so on this line stream writer this is the portion from where we are making the bot make point bot okay so I'm just writing the line of code which is I'm calling the MySQL dump which is the same this one and then pass the host from where I'm getting on the settings that we made on our tutorial number two and then the port the user and then the password the password the, the database and then the routines and then we will put the backup on our SQL file or our temporary file okay so now we will create the process that will execute this batch file okay so just to create an instance of a new process then uh, set the file name as our for the file of our batch file and then create no window this will uh, just uh, not show the window for the something like this or the command prompt and then window style hidden so that the command prompt will not 
display then redirect standard error you shall execute and then start okay so we need to make a do while so just to make sure that the process already completed uh, its task so once it's completed you need to dispose and then set it to not then we just need to make sure that the file exists on our the temporary file is exists and then just need to copy it on the file name from where we want to place it okay so what we have to do right now is call this function uh, through this button click of course uh, on this button click we need to show a save dialog box from where we can set the file name of our backup okay so here i already created the save dialog file uh, okay so we have here a parameter uh, variable close which has the boolean and then we need to check if the apply button is enabled or if it's uh, not enabled we just return so that just to make sure it will not make a double click uh, something like that and then just need the uh, file name variable from where we will set the default file as the database and then the current date and time then this is the initialization of the save dialog box so the title will be backup database and then the filter will be sql file okay this is just the prompt and then this is the filter actual filter then we will just pass the file name the default file name and then default extension which is the dot sql and then initial directory is empty and then we will now show the dialog box so just in case if they select ok it will get the file name and uh, if not it will set the close to true and then from this one if this closes to true then it will just not continue on the next line of code that we will add from where we will just start the we will just need to call the do backup so for the backup uh, function we will be using a delegate so that we can call this do backup method or function uh, synchronously so we will use i async when calling this function okay so let's do this at the bottom part so this will be under link apply so here i already created the instance of the delegate then pass the method or the do backup function which is with this one okay and then i create an instance of i async uh, to and set it to the begin invoke uh, we will invoke the method and pass the parameter of file name that we have here so what's the purpose of this i async so that uh, the purpose of this uh, is that we can use the progress bar so that it will not show our applications in like a hanging whenever our backup process is doing its job okay so what we need to do is to enable the data entry from where we will disable the buttons and then we will show the progress bar and then once this portion will just check if the i async already completed this task so we just should uh, call the application do events and then once it's done we we'll just enable the buttons again and then we just need to check if the return uh, value of our do backup function which we have here it will return a boolean okay so once it's true we we'll just display a message box that the backup was successful and if it's not it will just display the backup was not uh, complete okay and then we just need to clear the delegate and then async to null and then it close and then then this person will just close uh, automatically the backup window okay so this is the complete code for the backup so all we 
need to do right now is to test it okay so we'll just add a metro button to call our backup Sounds good. So let's check that file. And, uh, desktop worker 39. So check the uh, content of this. So here is our backup where it will create the table and then the insert the values inside it so hopefully you enjoyed this one so now our next tutorial i will show you on the restore function thank you for watching